Now, in this lesson, we're going to learn about AC generators, which stands for an alternating current generator. Now, we already know that direct current is one where there is a constant flow of electrons, where the current stays at a particular amplitude. An alternating current, on the other hand, is one where the electrons move in one direction for a short amount of time and then flow in the opposite direction. This reversing of direction is a constant cycle in alternating current. The magnitude of the current also constantly varies. So, now that we know how alternating current behaves, let's see how an alternating current generator actually works. An AC generator is used to generate electricity when a coil cuts through a magnetic field. The electricity that powers our houses and factories is generated in the same way. As we can see in our model here, we've got a coil marked ABCD rotating between a strong permanent magnet with north and south magnetic poles. A magnetic field runs from the north to south pole, as shown by the arrows. Now, as the coil rotates with the aid of some kind of a handle on the other end, it cuts through the magnetic field and this varies the magnetic flux density. Due to this change in magnetic flux, an electromagnetic field is produced, which then creates a current, and thus this flows through the coil. Now, applying Fleming's right-hand rule, we can determine the direction of this current flow. You can see that for one half turn of the coil, the current moves in one direction, and for the other half turn, the direction of the current is reversed. This is achieved with the help of the slip rings that are connected to the external circuit. This is how the alternating current is created. The carbon brushes are then used to conduct the current from the coil to the external circuit. They also ensure that the wires of the coil or the external circuit do not get entwined while the coil rotates. Now, it's really important to note that the EMF, which is the electromagnetic field, or the voltage that is induced by the generator will directly depend upon the number of turns in the coil, the strength of the magnetic field, and the speed at which the coil is rotated. The force that is needed to rotate the coil typically comes from water in dams or from wind energy in windmills or by the changing of tides and waves in tidal generators. In fossil fuel powered generators, the engines are used to turn the coil and that then generates electricity.